The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which one of you would hand his own stone when he asked for a loaf of bread, or a snake when he asked for fish? If you then, who are weak, wicked, know how to give good things to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask him? Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets, the gospel of the Lord. Praise Good morning. Good morning. I see you happy today. Almost Friday, right? <laughs> so the Lord is telling us in the gospel, everyone who asks receives. So I'm still waiting to want to win the lottery and asking <laughs> every day. So to have a huge, huge evangelization center for all the people. So pray for that <laughs> to happen. Uh, the first reading is uh, an amazing uh, story of Queen Esther, and a big testimony for us in how to pray, how to intercede for others, how to revere the, uh, to revere the Lord, because He is great, He is so merciful. We know the story about people of Israel and the story that lead uh, uh, Queen Esther to do the things she did uh, in behalf of Israel. And so in the prayer we heard at the first, in the first reading, it's amazing to contemplate first, to recognize we are nothing without God, and recognizing the glory of the name of God and how he is a God faithful to his people. The first part of the prayer of Queen Esther is amazing. And then the second part, the recognizing I am the lowly servant of you. I am your lowly servant. Please help me. And then this uh, direction, this interceding for the people of Israel, please set us free from the hands of our enemies. So as today we are facing any vice, any inclination, any appetite, any desire that is not being purified yet in the love of God, let us take this little prayer and beautiful prayer from Queen Esther as a way, as a remedy for us to overcome those little things in our souls. So to remove them and also being able to intercede for the church. Because finally, what she did, it was in behalf of the people. So our prayers, our supplication must be in behalf of the church, on behalf of others, family, friends. And this, this is so powerful because God is granting us that ability to intercede for our brothers and sisters. But everything starts to recognize in recognizing the glory of God, to recognize our identity, our status, lowly servants of the Lord, and ask for help. And we are going to see marvelous deeds as Queen Esther did, the salvation of Israel, and also this the defeating of the enemy in the hands of Esther, of Esther which was Haman, the great enemy of the people of Israel in the story of salvation with King, uh, with Queen uh, Esther. So may God hear us in our prayers and may we have the ability to pray for others, to, uh, to, to intercede for others, so we may enjoy all of the mercy of God. Amen. <laughs>